Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another planning video. This week I'm going to be planning for the 29th to the 4th of August. I'm using this back to school kit from Simply A Mess. I picked up a few kits from them. This is their like mini kit. So just lots of boxes, it's got the washi strips there, um, and then their decorative full boxes. I just really like these colours. I feel like it's a little bit autumn and kind of it's getting to the end of winter here in Melbourne, but I am back to uni next week, so I thought the theme was very fitting. You can see I've got a few washies there, and I also have some rose gold foiled stickers um, and some date covers as well. I realised there weren't any date covers in the kit. That's probably the only thing that was really missing for me. So I'm going to start this week by popping down the date covers. Now these were more of like a charcoal grey kind of colour, so I just wanted to put those down first to make sure that they would tie in to everything else I did. I didn't want to have too many different colours going on or anything like that. So after I get those down, then I pop some washi tape at the bottom. So I end up going for this like coppery gold glitter tape and then this 10mm rose gold bow washi from Simply Gilded as well. I did have to space them out a little bit, so I just used the lines on my inserts as a guide and it ended up that you couldn't see any lines underneath and I didn't have to use any white out either because I struggle a little bit with the white out looking yellow and you can see it through and I really don't like that, so if I can avoid it I won't use white out. Now I thought there would be a few more washi strips. like enough for each day to go under the date cover but there wasn't they were a little bit wide so I just used the same 10 millimeter washi and just cut little gaps in between each day um, and just put that at the top of the week and I think it looks really good this red was a really good color to match this kit and then getting into the day by day on Monday, the first thing I wanted to mark was my work time, so I'm just using an appointment label for that. I thought about using some script stickers and things like that, but I just thought it was too many like different types of script really close to each other, so I end up removing that. But first, I'm going to pop down this full box, full box, sorry, just a really cute one with the school bag and the like stationery and everything. This is my first day back at class, so I thought that was pretty fitting as well. Underneath that I just used one of the wider washi strips and then I've got this sheet of leftover foil, I think it's a weekly sampler, like a leftover of that from Monique Plants. So it just had a coffee script on there in rose gold so I layered that over that like peachy coloured washi strip. Then I've got a box at the bottom because there was quite a big gap between the bow washi and then the end of the day, I tried to end each day with a box so I could extend it down a little bit. Then I'm just using a little bag icon on there and in that gap I just use another label sticker and pop a backpack on there. So the bottom one's to mark in my class, the middle one will probably be that I have to pack my lunch for work and then dinner before uni and all my laptop and everything, bring my whole life with me to work that day because I go straight from work to uni. It's a long day. Now on Tuesday I wanted to use the double box scene across Tuesday and Wednesday so I just put that down first so I knew how much space I had to work with to put everything else down. So I'm just lining those up. There is a pretty big gap like in between them. I feel like usually there's not a bigger gap. I don't know. I haven't used many double box scenes, but I think this one looks really nice. It's not too loud or anything like that. But yeah, I just really like the little desk setup. But then on the top of Tuesday, I just used a Today header. And then underneath, I use one of the little flags from the kit. Um, and then some script from Peaceful Mind Designs just to mark in a bill that I have due on Tuesday. And I think I add in a little foiled star as well. Yes, I do. There we are. I added quite a few of these little stars and hearts. They were an old $2 Tuesday from Monique Plans and they're just super handy because if your kit isn't foiled, like I don't think I've ever used a foiled kit before. You can just add them in and it looks like you had a foiled kit to start with. Then you can see I just put one of the quarter boxes, the laptop, these are all deco stickers but they're super functional for me this week, um, which was really handy. So I just used that and then on Wednesday I'm marking in my work time with another one of those appointment labels as well. 
then I didn't really have much more, like many more like appointments or anything with a time on Wednesday. So I just gave myself a nice big to-do list. Whether everything gets done on Wednesday or if this is kind of just for the week is a bit TBC. Who knows, I'll probably end up filling it just for Wednesday though. There was a bit of a large gap between the end of the checklist and the box so I wanted to put an icon over the top just to kind of extend it but I just used this cute little like bird's eye coffee cup from a like a flat lay coffee cup I don't know it's really cute that's just from the sampler from Simply a Mess that I received when I purchased this kit. On Thursday just marking in work exactly the same with another like appointment label and then I'm just using one of these I think they're fancy labels um, just at the very bottom just to extend that day down. I didn't want to forget to do that and then have like an awkward amount of space left. But that is just to mark that my lecture is on Thursday while I'm at work, but just so I remember to watch it, I like to mark that in even though I won't be able to attend in real time. Under the appointment label, I use this really beautiful full box with the like flat lay of the clothing and bag. I really like this one. I, don't know, I just really like the colors of this kit. I haven't, I don't think I've really used these more like, it's like they're stronger, like autumn colors in my planner yet. But then underneath, there was another thick washi strip of this like blackboard pattern, which was really cute. And I also had the meal prep sticker left over from that mini plan sheet. So I'm gonna layer that over the top. And then in that gap in between, I have a meeting before work. So I'm just using another one of the little flags and then this really cute little like laptop emoji sticker from stickers by Ashley K. I end up putting this a, a bit too high so I just move it all down so it's a bit more centered. Now on Friday, very important, I wanted to mark in that it was payday. Now I only had some thin washi strips left and it would have been too thick if I had have used two of them. So I just trimmed one in half and just put that underneath the one I just put down. And then I layer over the leftover payday script from the same Monique plan sheet. Underneath that, I'm just using another quarter box that's just to mark in some things I have to do for placement that day. And then I wanted to, again, extend like the column of the day down. So I just put the full box at the very bottom. And this is, as you can see, just a cute little like toast and a coffee, which I don't know, I liked using that for my day off, although I feel like it is gonna be pretty full on. Um, under the little box, you can see I put the today header down and I just used some more of the decorative stickers from the kit as functional items. So I've got the two little planners there because I want to plan for the following week and film that video. And then underneath, I've just got the notebook and the cute little bulldog clip. And I end up using a study script from Birdie Planning next to that as well. Obviously just to mark that I want to study, get some uni work done. I start jumping around a little bit here. So on Saturday, you can see I'm just extending the day down with another one of the fancy labels. And I've got this cute little, I think it's like a date night sticker from Birdie Planning. Um, I was able to order these without the script on them, which was a custom order. I just, I prefer to write like date night or out for dinner or whatever the case may be next to the icon versus having already written there. Um, so yeah, I was able, I think, yeah, Lisa from Birdie Planning, she was nice enough to create these without the script for me. Back to Sunday though, I remembered I obviously wanted to mark in my work time, so I just used another appointment label. These were also my last sheets of inserts that I'd printed, so I wanted to mark that on Sunday afternoon with a little printer. But back to Saturday, I've got a half box, a little grocery icon that's from Hamilton Print Co. I just thought the colors really looked cute with the rest of this kit. Lost track a little bit now, but I was putting just some more decorative stickers from the kit down. Most of the stuff I used this week was from the kit or foiled stickers from Monique Plan, so it's pretty usual. I feel like it's like that most weeks for me now. So back to Saturday, I'm using this cute little French press sticker from the sampler that I got when I ordered these kits. And then on Sunday, I just used a little like lunch bag to mark that I want to 
make sure I take my lunch to work. And then I've got this little dollar sign just to mark me in that my rent is due that day as well. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to go ahead and add a, a, a lot more of the little stars and hearts from Monique plans just all over all the full boxes and the icons and everything like that. But once I get those down, that is it. That is my finished spread for next week. I really love how this turned out. Really nice colours kind of motivating me to go back to uni. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, I have plenty other plan with me if you want to go back and have a look too. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.